Hello, here's a video on how to create a iTunes podcast for your company. This will be a video podcast and the iPhone and recently released iPod Touch, they're all so popular. People want to be able to download your videos. You probably have free videos out there. So people want to be able to download these when they're on the train or in the car because oh boy you have a new video and it creates that more that stickiness for your website and they get more apt to show your video to your friends because it's mobile it's in their hands so that's another service you can provide so sometimes you can get a little tricky on how to create an iTunes video podcast because iTunes has very specific settings that they need it's hard to do that through MemberGate itself because the MemberGate RSS feed does not have those same specifications that iTunes needs in order to display its podcast. So let's go through what you need to do. If you're using Camtasia to record your videos, all you have to do is produce it in the right format and we'll get to that format. So how did I create an iTunes podcast? You can see right here. So if I click on this right now, this is what happens. It automatically opens up my iTunes and you can see my podcasts are down here. People can subscribe to it. So you can just post that link up on your website. You can send it out in an email to everyone who signs up to your email list and say, hey, you don't need to just get my videos via email. Guess what? You can get them directly to your iPhone as well. So here's how we do it. I found a really great website called Podbean. This is a free site. You can sign up for free to Podbean. And once you sign up, okay, now I'm logged into the account. All I have to do is go click on my name and then go to my dashboard, go to settings, and then click on iTunes. It will allow you to upload a picture, which needs to be 300 by 300. You can put in all your details, your summary, and all of that good stuff in there. Then you can just go to publish, put in a title tag, hit browse, select the type of file that you want. It's going to be a M4V file, which is very easy in Camtasia to produce it. There's actually a setting there that will say, I want it for iTunes. So you just produce that and hit publish and voila, your feed will have been created. So in order to actually put this on iTunes, um, this is what you need to do. So all you have to do is, this is your feed right on top, okay? That, that is the link to your feed. First, you want to test that it's working properly. And in order to do that, you just go to your iTunes. You go to advanced, subscribe to podcast, put in your URL and hit OK. And if everything is working correctly, it should show up for you and it'll say your feed works. Well, once it works, you know that you can go ahead and submit it to iTunes and wait for them to accept your feed. Now, in order to submit it to iTunes, there's a specific link that you need to go to. So here is the link. It's if you go to just in Google, you can type in podcast, iTunes, submit. This page will show up. Scroll down and there's a link there that says submit a podcast. So click on that. It's going to have to open it up via iTunes. And you can just submit your URL in here. What's going to happen after that, you're going to get an email that says podcast owner, your feed has been submitted. And then after that, It'll take about 24 to 48 hours, but then you'll get an email like this that says, Hi, they've accepted your podcast. That's wonderful. This is your link that you need to send people to. And you can just make that a banner on your website. You can continue to update your iTunes podcast that way. And it's as simple as that. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.